we're going to be continuing our lesson fundamental series today. And today we're going to be talking about learning how to read music. Now learning how to read music is just like learning how to read any other language. It's going to take a lot of practice and a lot of dedication to kind of master it, but we just use a simple alphabet like we do in English and just a placement on what we call the music staff. And that's all we're going to talk about today. So let's go ahead and get started with the music staff. Now here on the whiteboard, we have the music staff drawn out. Now it's made up of five lines. Line one, line two, three, four, and five. And then the space is in between the line. So this would be space one, space two, space three, and space four. So we're going to use these different lines and spaces as placeholders for the musical alphabet. Let's go and talk about the musical alphabet right now. So the musical alphabet starts on A, just like our alphabet in English does. We're actually only going to go up to G. So we only have seven letters in the musical alphabet. So as you can see here, we start on A. And then I have it written here on a clock because you can really go in either direction from A to G. So this would be going forward through time, and this would be going backwards through time, or moving down on the music staff. When we're ready to put notes onto the music staff, or the letter names that we worked on, we're going to use what are called clefs as guideposts to help us. Pictured here is the bass clef. This is going to be used for lower sounding instruments like trombone, baritone, cello, bass, and tuba. Kind of the bottom end of the group. Now when you see this, our alphabet is going to start on the first space, which is going to be this space right here. So just like in English, we're going to start with A, and that's going to go in that first space. Now from here, we're just going to alternate line space, line space, moving up on the staff through the alphabet. So the next line is going to be B. Going up to the next space, this is going to be C. The next line is going to be D. And then we have E, next comes F, the top space is going to be G, and then now G is the end of our musical alphabet. We need to go back to the beginning, which would be A. So the next line up is going to be A. To complete the staff, we're just going to go backwards in the alphabet. And just like here where we have G below the A, we're going to have G below this A as well. Now we use a couple of sayings to help us remember the different notes on the lines and the spaces. So here we have A, C, E, G in the spaces. And the saying that's most commonly used for that is going to be all cows eat grass. Now for the lines, the saying that we can use is going to be good boys do fine always. We're now going to go ahead and label the notes that I have drawn up here on the board. This first note is sitting in a space and it's in the second space so this would be space one and space two and if you remember we used all cows eat grass going up from the bottom all cows eat grass for those notes in the spaces. So this is going to be all cows. So that's on the cow space, so it's going to be a C. This next note right here is on the fourth line. One, two, three, four. And the saying that we used for the lines was good boys do fine always. So it would be good boys do fine. So that's going to be on F. This next note is in the first space, and we said all cows eat grass. So this is in the all space, so this is going to be an A. And then our last note here is on the third line, and we used good boys do fine always. So good boys do. So that's going to be a D. Now I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that you can really understand how to read this music and how it works. 
I would relate not being able to read music as if you were going to like a German class or a class on Chinese or Japanese and not having a clue how to read or speak Japanese or trying to take a test. We would fail miserably and we would not have very much fun. So it's so important. Even if you don't take out the instrument, take out your book, start naming notes. And I really encourage you not to write in the name of a note over a note. It's just a crutch that's going to slow down your learning in the long term. So practice hard and let me know if you have any questions. You can always feel free to email me at lessons at bertransmusic.com. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.